Welcome back to SRS. This week we've got Noel's GTR in the shop. Doing there. Doing there. <laughs> I feel like my thumb looks really weird. You are weird. Holding it like that. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna crash. This feels natural. Welcome to this week's workshop tour at Street Race Solutions. This week uh, we got Noel's GTR back in for some work. No, no. This week we're at Brian's GTR. No, we got Noel's GTR. No, no. No, this is Noel's. Now we got. We, so this this week, right? We've got two GDRs in the SRS workshop. It's not a fabrication shop. <laughs> it's a workshop, right? That's right. Right. Don't play with my work tools. All right. You know how it start, do you want to start with Noel's GTR or do you want to start with Brian's GTR? I want to start with the GTR. Well, which one? Which one do you want to talk about first? May as well talk about this one. Talk about Noel's? Yep. Right. So Noel's GTR, for those of you who have been following along for a little bit, we had Noel's GTR in earlier in the year for a bit of work. So we put the engine and gearbox in, intercooler piping. Did all these tasteful modifications. Uh, the, the wastegate modification up there. So we did all that earlier on in the year. Noel's since then decided to step up the cold side of this build a little bit. So he's gone ahead and ordered a forward facing plenum. So we're going to get rid of the... Um, one he's currently got here and put that nice flashy one that I think you unboxed a couple yeah. of weeks ago actually. Yeah, unboxing on, Hype Team one. So, yeah, what we got here is an intake manifold for, I think it's Knowles, Knowles car? Yeah, Knowles, GDR. That's some good stuff, George. So that's going to be going on, modify the cooler piping to suit that and then on top of that we're going to go ahead and finish up all the plumbing uh, for the entire vehicle. So, so mad we have to do the coolers again. So the only thing that'll be left on this car will be wiring and uh, Noel's got that sorted out himself. So uh, once, once we give it back to him, all that's gonna be left is wiring and then it's gonna be hitting the streets again, so. As you can see, Noel bought a bag. You're an idiot. For his wiring. Um, if wow. you haven't seen this car before, George might put in some B-roll here. So this is a Harlequin 33 GTR. It's running a 3.4 litre stroker kit in it. Um, lots of flashy chrome parts, very, very, out there car uh, really grabs your attention really really wants it's a you shiny to, boy really wants you to look at it it's, it's really the daniel of the car world it's a so shiny like, boy look at me Hello. Daniel. so that's an old gtr moving on to yeah. brian's brian's gtr brian's gtr over here we've got our head fabrication stationer over here oh mick come here don't hide Come talk about your Come washer talk bottle, about what you're doing. can bottle, rattle, model. Come on, don't take your time or nothing. Wash bottle um, here and catch can there. There you go. Partly thereof is here. What's the bitch that? Secret. Oh, okay. I'm not right. telling you. No, I'm not that, no. Lick me. Yeah, Please lift do. ya. Lift me. Oos, 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 oos. Fabricator, you'd you don't understand, but we're a workshop, not a fabricator shop, eh? Wannabe mechanic fabricator. Wannabe mechanic. He's a wannabe, eh? But you can pull, I'll put the stock twins back on and you can pull them off then. No. I can do that. I wouldn't. Same. I, wouldn't I wouldn't even wish I'd that get, on I'd you. I'd get the plasma cutter <laughs> and just. I would not wish people. Anyway, we have Brian's GTR right. in today. Yeah, Brian's GTR. Yeah, Brian's So the GTR. little short video the other day, we sort of gave you a little sneak peek of what's going to be happening to this. So since that video, this car went on the dyno, made 291, 282 back to back runs, horsepower at the rear wheels. So that is completely on a stock system, stock twins, as you can see down on the ground there. I have since removed said stock twins. Uh, <laughs> it was a very not fun experience. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone except Daniel. Um, he hates me. There's just no room in there. And I, it's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a masterpiece of engineering, Wait. really, that they got all that to work. Have you there. seen this? Yes, it's ITBs. It's I understand that. Okay. I meant the paint job. Oh, no. Anyway, so stock twins are out. Got to remove a few more things with, uh, that were in conjunction with those twin turbos. And then we're going to be putting on the six boost manifold, new turbo. Uh, going to a single turbo, not twins. Going to a single turbo. Uh, on this other side here, the manifold's going to be coming off, getting stripped, getting powder coated. Uh, V-band clamps, new 100, mil se uh, 100 series plasma man intercooler. Um, all these covers are going to come off, getting painted. Basically, the idea behind it is that the engine bay is now going to have the same wow factor 
and the performance of the car is going to have the same wow factor as the exterior does. So you look at this car from the outside and it's incredible. Um, it's running beautiful big Nismo wheels on her. Yeah. It's so a nice looking whip. Once it's done here, it's going to be the full Monty, you might say. Thank you, Dad, brother. Andy's just walked in. Hello. Hello. Don't be shy. Hello. 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 It's Andy. Um, hello. Say hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. <laughs> hey. Hey. So these are Brian's wheels. So he's running a square set. Not 100% sure on the actual specs of the wheels, but they are 295s. Oi, I'll tell ya. Is there a sticker there? Oh, yeah, it's there. No, wrong sticker. Keep going. There you go. Alright, there you go, George. Zoom in on that bad boy. 19 by 10. 19 that's by 15. 10 plus 15. So that's a 295. Square set, of, that's a big tyre. G up runs 275 radials on it when we put the drag tyres on that. So no, this is Nismo. Nismo, anyway. Nismo. Basically, it's Brian's GDR, so 300 horsepower. We're hoping once it goes out, it'll be going to E85, flex fuel, Haltech plug and play, pretty covers, pretty manifold. Powder coat, plenums, everything's um, going to be nice. We're going to have a nice intake and a nice hot side, and then it's going to make power. Integrated washer bottle catch can that Michael's working on at the moment, new cooler pipes, uh, anodized fittings. So what there's color? a bit of a colour theme going on. We'll, we'll let them, let them wait on that. There's a bit let of a colour theme going on Secret. here. Stay so tuned if you want to find out our colour coding. That's stuff. Brian's GTR. How hot is zinc? It's pretty hot. I love zinc. Zinc, George. This is a snorkel. Wow, look how far on that is. Wow, George. I said that yesterday. You're such a pain in the ass. Me. That's why it's still I'm there. not a pain in the Not you, it. It. Yes. He hates me. Uh, uh, so we've got Blake's S13 here. So those who know, know. You just do know. But if those don't know, then you don't know, but you might know. If you know, so you know. Blake's SR, stripped third gear, clean out of it. Uh, it's quite possibly the gnarliest gearbox breakage I've ever heard in my yeah, life. Anyway. Oh, yeah, hop up. I want to get up hop here. Hop up. Um, it was pretty hectic. Like me. Third. Yeah, so... Right. Third gear left the chat, and it was yeah, definitely one of the most horrible sounding gearbox breakages I've ever heard. It's, it was yeah. such a terrifying experience to listen to that. Um, but on a lighter note, we got a CD009 in it now, so yep. we upgraded bad. to the six speed 370Z box. Um, so that's Bye. pretty much hey, what are you looking uh, at? Uh, signing in, really I think it's all about oh, sign, sign in stuff. Um, yeah, so 370Z really gearbox in it now, it's all working, it's all. Button up with the twin plate direct clutch, <laughs> clutch, direct clutch services clutch. Yes. Um, so it's got that nice race car rattle to it now. When it's you put the very, in. very race car. Um, Short little shifter on it. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 we're looking good. Nobody really expected Blake to actually get up this thing the way that he did. Mrs. Just... gets up here more than he gets his car up his car. He. Right. What? What? All right. Yeah. So me. That's Blake's car. Now, if you pretend that Blake's car isn't here last week in place of blake's car we had a ford a ford so we had nix xd in here for a full uh how big was that exhaust three and a half three and a half v8 exhaust so three technically half, so. technically yeah two exhausts did you get it. you got some footage of that didn't you george george yeah right. you did so Good man. Twi uh so from extractors back basically yep we had a three and a half inch uh x pipe Made up, so the boys got that knocked out. Looks incredible. Full stainless. It did system. look very, so coming very out of the car nice. into an X pipe, back out of the X pipe into. Did we do a muffler in the middle? Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. no. We didn't end up with mufflers in the middle. No. But we put mufflers at the back. Yeah. So coming back up towards over the rear the of the car. We put V bands, V bands just before the diff, so we can separate them. Yeah. So we got up over the diff into pieces. twin mufflers at the rear with. Some nice little uh, two and a half inch turn downs at the back. So yes. we don't really, you, you'll, you watch the video, you watch George's B roll. You right will now, see you what understand. we have done. Actually, Michael did it. See, Michael, Michael, did it. Michael he did it. You'll understand. Words don't really. Hey, Michael! How pretty it actually is. So. Corey's car here, quick little update on it. All the radium fuel module stuff is turned up for the custom tank that Daniel made. So we've got the drop in module here. This is identical to the module One, that's in G. We're running in G up. Uh, except that it's going to do Daniel's custom tank rather than a... A radium A radium module, tank, yeah. So, yeah. That radium um, tank. But... Um, holds same. up to three pumps. You can run three and pumps pump. and a lift yep. pump. So four pumps so total. So four, four, yep. four, 
four pumps total. Uh, yeah, so parts parts are slowly rolling in for Corey's car. There's a bit of a bit of a hold up on the plasma man uh, intake manifold. Plasma just man, busy, busy beavers, you know. Literally everybody wants them and they're struggling to keep good. up. Because they're good, like me. That's right. They are quality uh, However, I do believe it has been sent, so it should be here pretty soon. We have we have tracking for it. Tracking. Tracking. Oi, so once oh, that turns up, we're gonna, once the manifold turns up, Corey's head uh, is going to go off and it'll get pulled. Oh, how sick is that? They even give you like a complimentary straw. Thank you, Daniel. Buy radium and you get a straw. Take a, take a drink. Take a sip. Just sip, right there. What's it taste like? <laughs> What's it taste like? Put the wave on it. Okay. Take You don't look like a snake at all. Anyway, uh, yeah, so once the intake manifold turns up for Corey's car, his head and the manifold are going to go off. Uh, he's, he'll get the complete head done. And it'll what? Head done. He will. It will get done. Who? For Corey's car. Corey's. Yes. So yeah. it'll get done, all port matched and everything, new valves, the hot, brand new head, brand new head. Um, cop and head. Cop and a head. Cop and a, it's um, cop and a brand, yeah. Cop. So moving over this way, Mitchell's car is here. Wrapped up, so all of the powder coating stuff came back for this car yesterday, which yep. is... Let me give you a sneak little peek. Eye in the car so it doesn't get damaged. What do you got? Just pick something nice. Yeah, right here. What's this here? We'll go with this here. A little that unwrapping, like, George. That looks like a catch can. It sure that's is. So that's how everything come back. Quite so that's the beautiful. Washable. So everything's now been powder coated, all the cooler pipes, bo uh, boxes, catch cans, washer bottles, everything. It's Turbo housing is all done. Pretty so this will all get reassembled very shortly. We're just a little bit busy with all the GTRs in here. Yeah, we've moment. got a couple of GTRs. Uh, so once once we get those big heifers out of here. Who? Uh, big heifers. Who? The GTRs. Oh, the GTR. Once they're out, we'll be back oh. on the Mitchell's car and um, finishing it up. Ed. Oh, ow. If it was red, you'd be on. He stood on my foot, George. Right, so here we've got Andy's car. So we've got Andy's S13. Uh, we are coming towards the end of this one. We're pretty much getting pretty close to the final fit up. So all of the pipe work has been taken off again now that the boys made up and it's gone off to the powder coaters. Um, on top of that, the engine loom has been completely pulled out, ready for the new one to be made. Uh, we've got the fuse box here. So plan with this is very similar to what we've got done in G up at the moment. So all of this will go into a contained aluminium box and then it's going to go from here and it's going to go up under there um, up under the guard so having it in that aluminium box means that it's all sealed up and there's no water going to get into any of your relays and fuses and stuff like that and corrode it um, so that just means that the body loom can stay intact uh, but we can have a clean engine bay so uh, battery has been relocated from here to the boot so we've got the ic7 dash installed in the there's a dog in there. IC7 dash installed in the stock cluster. So that's in. We've got the nitrous line. So the nitrous line has been run from the bottle that's in the boot all the way up to the front. We've got our nitrous solenoid just here. Uh, so the nitrous solenoid there line runs forward and it goes into the pipe right about here, which you can't see because the pipe's not there. On the back of the nitrous solenoid itself, we've got our purge solenoid. So the purge solenoid then comes along here in this AN line up to our intimidator. Not intimidator, just an N. There's no I in front of it, which is a bit weird. Sorry. So this is the intimidator nitrous purge kit. Sorry, so twin I'm purges. Back. Sorry. Twin purges with the LED uh, lights that go over the top of the lines. So basically, we hook them up, they splice into the wiring for the purge solenoid, and then as soon as you hit your purge button, they light up, which means your purge is going to be lit up in the sky. Lit. Like, it's going to be lit. Be lit. <laughs> It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Uh, catch can's been made for the back there, which you can't see. I don't know where it's that is. It's getting powder coated. It's not here, is it? It's, it's all getting, coated. nah. It's in the box. Oh, it's in the box, so we can show you that stuff. Um, catch can lines have been made. Recirc lines have been made. It's pretty close. So all we're waiting for is the converter from TCE to turn back up, and then the power glide. Has he got him? Yeah, he's got him. Power glide can go in for the final time, and then everything can get buttoned up, and then it's just the engine loom, and a tune, and we will be flying. Well, not we, Andy will be flying. Here we go. So here is the custom catch can that Michael made up. Very pretty. Do a, put it on a little rotisserie. What are they called? Bay Marie. 
Pretend you're a Bay Marie. It's a lazy Susan, brother. What's a Bay Marie? Hey. <laughs> George, tell me what a Bay Marie is. What's a Bay Marie? This, when I watch this video Wait, later. If you know what a Bay Marie is, put, put it down comments. in the comments below. <laughs> yo. Oh, it's a lazy Susan. In his car. Oh, actually. What? Talk to me. We got some big new rubber under the back as well. Yeah, we got new wheels down the back. Same wheels, different rubber. We're not running. Yeah, we're big not big running hub centric spaces anymore. We had to go and get a little bit on the road actually machined off, so we don't have to run the potential spacings. It's just to get the tire inside don't. the car with a bigger tire. You need no, it. it's not. Mickey Thompson ET Street on there. That's a Mickey McMe. What is that? A two seven five. That's two seventy five sixty. Two seven five sixty fifteen. So 15 gang. Got big rubber Spoiler under it now. Get on it. Staunch as. You are not. All right. What we've done here, what we've done here, right, is we've actually notched out the, in there, so that goes into a headlight delete duct, and, what? Yep. Headlight delete duct. Headlight delete duct. Yep. It's a duct. Yeah. So we got the VL here. Uh, Michael's been busy. Not really. Michael spent a couple days, a day, pretty much cutting the rear out of this car to fit the 20 by, 20 by 12. Yeah. I'm on it. Hey, calm down. That's a helicopter. Fucking hell. You're <laughs> ugly. <laughs> You're so far away. <laughs> it's all cut out to fit the Simmons. 20 by 12, yeah, Simmons. Sim, yeah, buds. Yeah, buds, yeah, Simmons, buds, yeah. yeah buds, Simmons. So the nine inch has been all measured up by for that. So that's being made up by Gazzards. Gazzard Bros in town. Uh, so they Local are working. Local boys in town do all our diffing stuff. They are working hard on shortening that diff up. How yeah, hard? Uh, super hard and, and it's going to come back in here and Michael's going to put it in hard and then we can get cracking on everything else for this build so this is going to be a pretty exciting car uh, quick rundown I don't know 1200 1200 horsepower turbo or less I heard they were going to be chasing a bit like 13 1400 trying to yeah, keep right. up with G up G bye just putting this away that's that there's that there's Sands Rover we've just yeah. done an LS swap it's taken 19 days to get to that. Here we've got the star of the show. You can get in. You can get in, just don't break my connector. So this here is my 1984 Rover, <laughs> Rover SD1. Tell them all about it. Tell, I'm telling you about it. So it, it was originally a three and a half litre V8, made around 200, what is that? That was a floor plan. Made around 200 mighty Shetland ponies uh, through a gearbox that couldn't take much more than 200 Shetland ponies into a diff that couldn't take more than 190 Shetland ponies. Wow, so, that's a lot of ponies, brother, when you think about it. not many ponies at all. <laughs> you, so I, I dare you to walk around with 190 ponies on you. That's true. Yeah, you need a paddock. So on the 8th of October, I drove this car into the workshop completely stocked. Uh, running, driving car, drove it up here. Yep. And today is the 20... Uh, 27th of October, so I want to start this tomorrow, hopefully, and that'll be, no, yeah, Friday. No, Friday, we've Friday, got two more days. So, so 29th, I want to start this, so basically a quick rundown. You, you'll think, oh, it's an LS swap, it's just an LS sitting in there. So I've got LS1, oh. completely rear wheat engine, rebuilt, re LS1, stock rebuilt LS1. engine. Behind that, I've got the T56, and then moving to the rear is where it <laughs> gets a little bit more exciting and kind of what I think is a little bit of a flex is we've just got bored and decided to put a four link in it as well. Yeah, we four link the rear, put the VL diff in so it. So all of the wiring on this is done now, thanks to Brendan, if you're watching this video. Yeah, little shout out to Peacock, my boy! I don't think I've ever oh. seen anyone produce such neat work on... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want that anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I didn't want it. Didn't see you there. No, I didn't want it. No, oh, <laughs> sorry, no, break it, please. Not really any secrets to LS ones. It's they make what they're gonna make. Um, there's a plenty. Of, there's a big secret behind this LS one though. What is it? Um. <laughs> Anyway, 21 days. Yeah. Idea is 21 days. We've gone from stock car to LS1 T56 for the rear end. Stock car. Who's in there? I don't know. This is my VL, George. This is my VL Turbo Rover. If you look under here, can you see all the cool things? George can't get under there. George can get under there. If you can see the shiny shocks and shit, can you see them? 
Yeah, you can see kind of that. So that's the four link in the back. Hello. Can you see me, George? Look at all the shiny stuff under here. Hey, George. Great, George. George, 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 you ready? George? Are you ready for us to sign off, George? George, we're gonna All right, sign George. off, George. All right, George, I'll tell you right now, we're about to. I just signed off. Oh, you're a <laughs> signature. That's my, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to us here. <laughs> if I was them, I wouldn't tune in. <laughs> right. I'd All right, I'll just squeeze my teeth. I'd choose. Don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in again. Do you know how a cow eats a pumpkin? Do you know how a cow eats a pumpkin? Ah! Oh, the men in black. Alright. Go. That's gay. I want to be You'll fuck me. Poof the side. No. This is my good side. Fuck me. And you don't have a good side. Thanks for tuning in to this, this week's workshop tour of Street Race Solutions Mechanical Workshop. What? No. So, mechanical and fabrication? Just mechanical. No, we're mechanical and fabrication. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll tell you right now, we are signing off. Alright. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.